The beauty is going to the toilet. Suddenly, a man's leather shoes appeared in front of her. The woman was so scared that she lost her face. The sound of screaming seemed to scare off the pervert. So the woman quietly walked out. It's a beautiful sunny day. This young couple was on a driving trip to the California suburbs. Stopped outside a rest stop. Miko walks in alone. Jesse got out of the car to smoke a cigarette in frustration. The bathroom was dark and gloomy. It was in disarray. It looks abandoned for a long time. Nicole fights the stench and enters a cubicle. She found a strange warning written on the door panel. However, she didn't pay much attention to it. Nicole was surprised when she came out. Her boyfriend in the car had vanished into thin air. She called out to Jesse, but no one answered. There was only a cigarette that had fallen to the ground. She took out her cell phone and tried to contact him, but there was no signal. Nicole vaguely saw a pickup truck turned around and left a short distance away. She picked up a payphone for help, but the line had been cut. Seeing the missing person's reports posted on the bulletin board, Nicole began to panic. She rapped on the bus windows and doors, trying to get help, but this is 60 miles from the city. It's a no man's land. Nicole spun around. Suddenly, the pickup truck turned head on at high speed. Nicole reacted quickly. Nicole reacted quickly to avoid a fatal impact. The driver stopped and threw out a cell phone. She picked it up and saw it was her boyfriend's cell phone. Nicole was furious. She yelled at the driver and asked him where Jesse was. The driver didn't answer. Nicole couldn't see her face. She could only make out the license plate number. She seemed to think of something. After the car drove away, Nicole quickly rushed back to the public restroom. She began to read the words on the back of the door panel. Akarkami, kill my husband. There's no escape. Casey on three on three. This gave her a chilling feeling. It seems that her boyfriend is in a bad way. Night falls. The silence. Hunger and fear came to Nick. She had no choice but to hope for the workstation. She smashed the glass of the door with a rock. As soon as she enters the room, the radio blast catches her eye. It was the only hope. Thankfully, the radio was working. Nick was overwhelmed with sadness and joy. With tears in her eyes and trembling lips, she made a plea for help, but she got no answer. The bottom fell out again. A few minutes later, there was a patrolman on the radio. Nick dragged out his difficult situation. The patrolman said he would send the police officers of the week to rescue Nick as soon as possible. The radio brought hope of life, plus half a bottle of wine and soft music from a CD. Nick felt a little comfort. With a little drunkenness, he fell asleep. The rest stop was in danger. The thugs are out of nowhere. This may be the last peaceful sleep she ever gets. This horrible toilet, it's been there for decades. Girls have been killed here inexplicably. Will Nick be the last one? Just after a little squint, Nick was awakened by a strange noise. Her boyfriend's car was parked on the side of the road. She got into the car right away and her hands fell wet. Oh my god, there was blood all over the seat. She tried several times. The car wouldn't turn on. The pickup truck came at her again with a vengeance. She could only jump out of the car to avoid. At that moment, Nikon's radio recording of her pleading for help came over the car. She broke down and wailed. The so-called hope turned into despair. She was just a lamb in the mouth of a hungry wolf. Just like last time, the pickup truck took off again. The bus on the side of the road suddenly starts. Nicole got on the bus and tried to escape. There were only four people on board. The woman driving the bus into teenagers. She asked the woman for help, but the woman's expression was exaggerated. Her words flickered. The driver also smiled very strange. Both said they had never seen a pickup truck before. The two teenagers remained silent, just staring straight at Nick. Just then there was a flash of light in the car. Nick thought his boyfriend was locked inside, so he rushed over to him despite the obstacles. After lifting the door face, she was amazed by the scene in front of her. There was a hideous looking midget. The woman lost her temper, tears streaming down her face as she cursed at Nicole. The driver and the teenager did the same. All for believed that Nicole had committed an unforgivable sin. The punishment of the gods was imminent. A few moments later, Nicole was thrown out of the car. She had to go back to the public toilet again. She happened to notice the writing under the membrane of the door panel. These are warnings from past victims. The oldest dated back to 1971. A few minutes later, there was a cry for help from another cubicle in the public restroom. Nick went over to find out what was going on. The door was locked from the inside. On the floor Saturday, a woman covered in blood. A woman in pain? She said her name was Tracy. For stealing $50, she had been imprisoned and abused by a pickup truck driver for many years. Finally escaped recently. As to how she escaped, I can't remember. You can comfort her while, while promising to get her out. Hearing these words, the woman was even more scared. She said that the driver was not a human being, but a monster. The sound of the truck 
which could not be escaped no matter what, came again. The woman screamed in terror. Nicole is holding the abandoned door panel against the door. The driver taps on the door outside. She didn't seem to want to break in. It didn't take long for her to leave. Suddenly the woman started spitting blood. The floor was instantly stained red. Nicole got an iron pipe with the intention of breaking the lock to get her out. But when she broke the toilet door, Shizuka in front of her scared her out of her mind. There was no one inside. There was no blood on the floor either. Is this a hallucination or a ghost? Nick was shocked and suddenly realized. He rushed to the notice board. She found out that the woman who disappeared in 1971 was Tracy. She was going crazy. She swung the iron pipe and smashed the glass of the toilet. After the discovery, Nick fell to his knees and cried. One can only imagine what her boyfriend Jesse had to go through that day. In human torture, the sound of a motorcycle gave Nicole hope again. The police finally arrived. Nicole was making her case. The pickup truck was parked outside the house. The police went out to confirm the situation. The driver, of course, denied it. The police were helpless. As she was calming down and angry Nicole, the pickup truck came barreling down on her. The cop tried to save the day, but Nicole couldn't do anything about it. Ranting and raving, she told the driver to kill himself, but the driver didn't care. Just dragged the motorcycle away with chains. Nicole dragged the cop back to the toilet. This dilapidated shack became the last refuge for the two. There was a loud noise outside the door. Nicole cursed the driver. The door was chained from the outside. She pried a hole with a metal pipe and reached out to unlock it. The driver grabbed Nicole's hand, biting off a finger. Nicole screamed at the top of her lungs until she was exhausted. The police officers was as mad as hell. She was still encouraging Nicole to pull herself together. The driver was a demon who put. The driver was a demon who based his happiness on her pain. He wouldn't stop there. The only way to survive is to kill her. The police told Nicole to pull out the gun she had in her arms. The driver is banging on the door again. Nicole fired two shots at the door. She saw someone moving and fired twice more. The driver wasn't dead. A camera was thrown in through the window. Inside was a video of her boyfriend being abused by the driver. The boyfriend was in a lot of pain. Even though his life was at stake, he still confessed his love to Nicole. Such an act attracted the driver's jealousy. At this moment, the driver put a pipe into the window. You can be sad and angry. Raise the gun ready. The shooting police warned that it was gasoline. It seems that the driver wanted to burn them alive. There is no way out of the front door. We had to find another way out. Fortunately, there is a vent in the flap of the toilet door. The exit is more than two meters above the ground. The policeman knew he was going to die. So he told Nicole to shoot him. The girl had to use the only two bullets left to help her. The driver threw in a lighter. Nicole quickly climbed to the roof at the same time. But when she turned around, the policeman's body was gone. Did she meet a ghost again? Nicole didn't have time to think about it. Nicole jumped off the roof before the house exploded. But the pickup truck soon followed. The driver got out and searched. Nicole hit her four or five times in the back of the head with an iron pipe. The driver fell in a pool of blood. But when she saw her face, Nicole was heartbroken that it was her boyfriend. You've completely exploded. All she wanted was revenge. She used gasoline to make a Molotov cocktail and waited on the highway with her back turned. The pickup truck is getting closer. You can throw the lid bottle at the pickup truck and it bursts into flames. But there was no one in the driver's seat. When she turns around, sometime later the rest stop was renovated. Nicole's ghost is imprisoned in the bathroom. She, like Tracy before her, both eager to get out, but also afraid of escaping. Under the blue sky and white clouds, the driver is driving his pickup truck looking for his next prey. It's like hell is empty. The devil is on earth. This is the end of the story. This gentle horror film in which the villains have the last laugh. Although the plot is not strict, but the sense of terror is full. Until the end the devil did not show his true face. It does not represent a person, but a class of people. The driver takes himself as the god of heaven to punish the evil as his mission. Unaware that he is the biggest evil. See you next time.